In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an AI character that you'll be able to use in Unreal Engine 5. This is going to be completely free. So let's get started. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to make me a prompt for an AI image software that will create a futuristic MMA fighter. Probably let's be a little bit more specific. I'll add that the character is going to be on T-Pose and plain background. So let's hit send. So we're going to copy the prompt. Then we're going to open Clean AI, which I have the paid version. But you can sign up and get around 300 credits for free, which is for about 300 pictures. Now here I just hit paste. On the settings, I'll move the aspect ratio to 916. So let's just hit generate. I think this is the most plain one, mainly because it's facing at us. So I'm going to download it. Then we're going to open this new page, which is going to be from Trellis. If you're used to work with Mixamo, you might know what Trellis is. But basically here, we're just going to drop the image. So wherever you have your image, you just drop it here. Okay, and then we just hit generate and we'll wait. Okay, as you can see here, we have the generated 3D asset. So we're just going to go ahead and extract GLV. Now the 3D model is done. So we're just going to download the GLV. We can't use it just yet. For this, we're going to go ahead and open Blender. I know it sounds like a lot of steps, but believe me, it's kind of easy once you get the hang of it. Okay, we're going to delete everything on the scene, then go to File, Import, and GLTF. So we're going to find where the sample is and import. We're going to make some adjustments here. First, we're going to center the character. Once already centered, we're going to go to the Edit Mode and just delete those little ones. As you can see, we're not going to use them. They were just like a little mistake that the software made. Okay, and then we're going to select all the vertices with A, then press M. Then we're going to merge them by distance. That should fix some topology. Once we merge everything, we're going to go back to the object mode, then select the character, go into File, Export, and FVX. We're going to limit to selected objects, and we'll call it an MMA Fighter. Now Export, and that's all we need from Blender. Then we're going to go to Mixamo. If you're really new to game development, I really encourage you to check out Mexamo. It's a place with a huge number of animations, so it can come in handy whenever you want like the character dying or a reaction from a head or something like that. Anyways, we go back to the upload character and here we're just going to drop the MMA fighter and we're going to hit next. These circles, make sure to put them on the place that they ask you, like the chin, the wrist, the elbows, so the rigging can work properly. I'm going to set it with no fingers, just for the sake of the character, because as you could see, it didn't have any fingers. Basically, we have the character completely rigged. As you can see, I looked up for boxing animations. Once you have your selected animation, you just hit download. And now we open Unreal Engine. Once here, we're just going to go ahead and find our FVX and just import it. Here on the skeleton, you're going to want to clear it to be none. And then hit import all. As you can see here, we have the characters. Let me just move them so I don't have them where the mannequin is. And for the material, you're just going to want to import the sample GLV and import. You can go ahead and delete the material and the sample. And just open the material that was made with the jab cross FBX. And here we can just bring the texture, connect it to the base color, save the asset, go back to the third person character. And as you can see, if we go ahead and bring the animation, the character is going to be here. And there you have it, one fully AI generated character. But remember, this is just the beginning. AI is transforming game development from character creation to dynamic storytelling and beyond. What we've done today is just one small step into the future of game development. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.